Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 24H2. So if you have a device still running Windows 10, you can upgrade to the latest version of Windows 11 for free using the Windows Update Settings, the official ISO file, and the Installation Assistant tool. The only requirement is that the computer must meet the hardware requirements to install the new operating system. Also, it is recommended to be running the latest version of Windows 10 with the latest system updates before proceeding. You can do this and you can do that from this page and clicking the check for updates button. This process will not delete your files or applications, but it is still a good idea to create a full backup before proceeding in case something goes wrong and you need to roll back. Okay, let's look at the three different ways that you can upgrade your computer running Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 24H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. First, let's look at the steps to upgrade with the easiest method, and that is using the Windows Update Settings. First, close all your applications and then just open Start and look for Settings. Then go to Update and Security, and if the computer supports the new version of Windows 11, when you open the Windows Update page, you will see an option to download and install the newest version of Windows 11, in this case, version 24H2. And the only thing you have to do is just to click the Download and Install button. Now, the computer is going to download the installation files and proceed with the installation. Once the computer is ready, you will need to restart to complete the installation. This might take some time depending on your internet connection and the hardware of your computer. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you also have to turn on this feature right here. Otherwise, you might not be able to get the 24H2 version, at least during the early days of the rollout for the new version. Now, in the case that the new version of Windows is not being offered through the Windows Update settings, and you know that your computer is compatible, with version 24H2, you can proceed using the ISO file or the installation assistant tool. Once the computer is ready to complete the upgrade, you're going to see the restart now button and you're also going to get a notification. And the only thing you have to do here is just to click the restart button to continue with the upgrade process. Now, it is important to note that my computer logged in automatically, and that is because on this particular computer, I have it set up to log in automatically. On your case, you may have to enter the account password in order to access your desktop. And that's it. Now we have successfully upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 24H2 through the Windows Update settings. Now let's look at the steps to upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 24H2 using the ISO file. And to do that, you need to go to this website and then scroll down and under download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices, select Windows 11 and then click the download button. Then choose the installation language and click confirm. Now click the 64-bit download button and save that file to your computer. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm going to close the browser. Then open the location where you save the ISO file and then to mount it, just right click on the file and select the mount option. Once mounted, you will have access to the installation files as if you were using a USB bootable media. And then to start with the installation, right click the setup.exe file and select the run as administrator option. I personally like to clear this option and in here, I like to disable the option to download updates, drivers and optional updates. This is because sometimes when you're using this wizard, the installation will get stuck downloading. So in order to prevent that from happening, I like to turn it off and then click next. Once the setup wizard confirmed that your computer is compatible, you will need to accept the terms. 
Now, before clicking the install button, make sure that the keep personal files in apps is selected. Otherwise, the computer will perform a clean installation. So make sure that you see this. If you don't see it, click on change what to keep and make sure to choose this option. Now, once you're ready to upgrade your computer, just click the install button. Now the wizard is going to take over and start the upgrade process. Also, this will take some time and your computer will restart a few times. Now, since you're doing an in-place upgrade, you won't have to go through the initial setup and the computer will boot straight on the sign-in screen to log into your computer and you will continue to have access to your files and apps. And that's it. Now, the computer has been upgraded successfully to Windows 11 version 24H2. Now, the last method that we're going to be using to upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2 is to use the Installation Assistant. This tool is available for computers if the Windows update settings are not working. However, anyone can use it to upgrade to a new version of Windows, in this case, Windows 11. And to do that, first open the web browser and then go to this website. Then under Windows 11 Installation Assistant, click the Download Now button and save the file on your computer. Now open the location where you save the file and now you can close the web browser. Now make sure to close all your applications and then right click and select the Run as Administrator option. Now, to continue, click the Install button. Now, the Installation Assistant has checked the computer and he knows that it's compatible with Windows 11, so it's going to proceed to download the files and it will continue with the upgrade process. The same as the other two methods that I show you on this video, this process will not delete your files or apps. However, it is still important to create a full backup before proceeding in case something goes wrong and you have to roll back to the previous version. This process might take some time depending on your internet connection and the hardware configuration on your computer. Now, when the computer is ready, you will have 30 minutes in order to continue with the upgrade process or to postpone for a later time. In this case, we're just going to click the Restart Now button. And that's it. Now the computer has been upgraded to Windows 11 version 24H2 using the installation assistant. After the upgrade, there are a few things that you want to do to make sure that you have the latest version and everything is working correctly. And one, of the, and one thing is to open device manager and make sure that all the hardware is installed correctly. If you have any conflicts or anything is not working right, it will be marked in this list. As you can see, everything seems to be working okay because we're not seeing any red or yellow marks on any of the devices. And finally, what you want to do is to go to settings and then go to Windows Update and make sure to download the latest updates if available. One thing you probably noticed is that after upgraded to the latest version of Windows 11, some of the interface still looked like Windows 10. However, one thing I did to fix that issue was to restart the computer. And then on settings, I went to personalization and I just started playing around with the color settings. For example, I changed the color mode, disabled transparency, and then I disabled this option and then and then I changed the settings back and I did that a few times and then the computer actually 
started to use the Windows 11 interface. So now if we go to device manager, we can see now that it is using the interface for Windows 11. And we can confirm that we're running the latest version by going to start and then let's open settings. Then from system, we can go to the about page and then we're going to see that version is currently 24H2. Another way to tell the version that you're running on your computer, open and start and look for the run command and then type win per and click OK. And as you can see, we're running version 24H2. And that's it. Those are three ways that you can upgrade your computer running Windows 10 to Windows 11 version 24H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.